Hey everybody that doesn't know me, my name's uh, Jordy Johnson at Curving Fusion, and yes, pigs do fly here. So, um, with worms on them. Jordy worms, yep. So today we're going to be carving this, um, these pencil crayons. They're stick, I don't know what kind of wood it is. Um, but um, I got them given to me from an um, old friend, Stu, and he got them from a lady that used to have a, a souvenir shop on Vancouver Island. So I promised Stu that I'd carve one of these sticks to, uh, there's some other stuff included with these pencil crayons. But I told Stu I'd carve uh, the lady a uh, 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 wood spirit on one of these sticks. So that's what this video is going to be about today. We're going to be using these burrs. These metal working burrs, you can get them on Amazon. I do have them in my Amazon store. If you get confused, if you go to the description below, you'll see them. They're like 20 bucks, but you get 20 burrs. So it's like a dollar a burr, guys. Come on. And they make for uh, great detail burrs for, um, you know, your bigger carvings too. So we're going to carve a wood spirit on here. I'm going to use my a normal cut saw burr to remove the bark, like uh, this right here. Okay. A normal cut saw burr. To remove the bark where I decide I want to carve the wood spirit, right? But I'm not going to try and touch the bark where I don't carve the wood spirit, right? Leave it natural because it's cool and it's on there, right? These are, I think these are old antique things or something because her souvenir shop was from like the 70s, but I don't know. So when I'm carving a wood spirit, I, like I'm going to carve one of my typical wood spirits on this and just do a talk through. But I want to show you guys like when you're carving, when you, if faces or something you want to carve, practice different styles, right? Because then you'll, like this is like a joker kind of guy. I did it quick yesterday. I didn't film and it's got an owl on top. One of the, the you know, the carving fusion protector owls. And then this silly wood spirit on the bottom here. But just practice different kinds of faces because you'll learn different techniques. I like this this guy on the bottom here. It's different than what I normally do, right? But you can still see it's a face. As long as you get that nose to pop out, it's going to look like a face. So I just suggest practice different faces, right? Okay, so I didn't film carving this because I just did it quickly yesterday. And I put the gold down one side of it. The, silver, the owl has silver on one spot side of it. You can see down here. It's all on the, that place is just on one side. Just practicing different things, guys. That's all. And um, so all you that are my normal subscribers and you don't see a video coming out for me for a few days because I've been showing this curve. I want to carve this stone here. I think it's rose quartz or something. I, I forget. It's, it's like, it's not very hard rock. But it's like that, um, what's that, sea salt, those sea lamps. They got the rock, but this this bigger piece here is what I'm going to carve. Okay, I'm going to carve a koi fish. Like its head's going to be up here. It's going to be like rising out of the water. So this is going to be a long time to carve because I'm going to carve it slow. I got to control the dust when I do this. I'm not going to be doing a dripper. Anyways, so let's uh, get on with doing this pencil crayon here for the lady. Okay, so here I am looking to see where I want to uh, do the carving. Got the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr on there, just to quickly remove the bark. The stuff was so dry it came off like a uh, hot knife and butter. So um, there you go, just cleaning up the space where I want to put the wood spirit. It doesn't have to be a wood spirit, you guys can carve whatever you want on it. But I just made this video showing how you can carve a stick, I guess. Here I am drawing on the face quickly. Mustache, nose, nose mustache. Um, you'll see it in a second in pen. So you guys can see it better. There you go. This was probably like, a, I don't know. There's a little tiny burr. Those metal working burrs, they're great for detail for bigger carvings. Okay, so here I go. Just uh, blocking out the outside of the nose. Like, uh, this is real time. No, this is sped up twice the speed. So, um, there I am cutting in the eyes. See so, how this is twice the speed. So, that's how long it took me to uh, carve this little guy. I don't know. Just enjoy the music. The music for YouTube is, uh, you got to get music that's copyright free, right? So, I just try and use all the music that YouTube offers. But, sometimes it can get pretty dang selective because well 
I don't know, you guys hear the music I use. Maybe it's time to, to pay money for an app to get uh, some better music. Just always worried about the royalty things because it, 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 YouTube can really ding you. Not YouTube, but the artists themselves. Hard to explain, but uh, these little fun guys are fun to carve. I suggest you try it. Even if you've never carved a wood spit before and you got an old Dremel kicking around, that's what this video's for. Cutting in the forehead there. Just look at your, have a picture of a human's face when you're doing it, guys, and then you can try and just try and make both sides of the face proportionate, I, I guess you would say. Hey, okay. there, just carve, Rob. See, just look at it. I am just cutting some hollow eyes. Guys, don't worry about carving real eyes when you're very beginning wood carving. I've made like 6,000 wood spirits. I still do hollow eyes all the time. I don't care. Yes, when you carve real eyes, if you're looking to sell your pieces, it will probably increase the value because it will look more like a wizard or something, right? But you got to remember that you're carving wood spirits here, right? You're just trying to make it look like there's some kind of face in the wood. It doesn't have to look like this. You can have your own friggin' style. Pretty soon I'm going to make a video carving a terrible wood spirit and just to show you that it's still a wood spirit. So anyways, um, voiceover is almost over. And uh, I'd just like to know how you guys would feel about me doing this voiceover knowing that I was sitting in the bathtub. Hi Liz. Okay, I could sit here and carve these little guys all day. You know, just if you guys, this is just an idea for ever, for just like the beginning carvers. If you get a little stick, you know, and you think that it's wet wood, just put it aside for a year and carve it in a year and it will be dry. And I suggest to carve dry wood when you're using burrs like this. So it, it doesn't need to be a pencil crayon too, right? Like you can just get a stick this big, carve a wood spirit. They make great gifts, guys. They make excellent gifts. If this was just a regular stick, carve a little wood spirit in there and somebody can like have a planter inside their house. They can stick it inside a planter and uh, like a flower pot or a plant pot, stick it inside there and then it will last forever. And it's a great little gift idea. So let's move on, let's do one more. So I also wanna say, so I just got the nose and the eyes. This, once you get the, once you get the eyes and the nose figured out, so in the eyes you wanna take, take wood away here and you wanna take wood away here too, okay? Once you get that, once you get the eyes deeper and the nose to stick farther out, then you're really on your way. Then you're on your way. Okay, so I'm just going to carve a crazy wood spirit on this. It's not going to look anything like this guy. And I'm just having fun. Just have fun. That's what this is about. Okay, guys. So here's what I carved in about uh, 40 minutes. So you see that face right there? It's different. They're all different in their own ways, right? But these are my standard wood spirits. This guy's beard's different. They're all different. But these are my standard wood spirits. This guy's more like a different kind of face. I'm gonna I'm starting to practice different faces, okay? I could have made that way better, but it looks it looks happy, it looks good enough, right? So you guys, when you're just getting into wood carving, never ever ever throw your carvings away, even if you think they look like donkey crap, because Wood carvings are special. They're not like, they're just more special, I think. And even if you think it sucks, do not throw it away. Put it in the closet. Save it for a rainy day. Save it for, if you're going to continue to wood carve, pull it out two years later, you're going to be like, oh my God, look at my first one compared to now. Or if you don't want to put it away, give it to somebody because somebody will love to put it in their flower pot or their planter pot inside their house or just tuck it, put it somewhere where they can see it. Trust me, it's a wood carving. They're special, okay? So these carvings are gonna go to the lady that gifted, um, that my buddy Stu got from her, that Stu handed them off to me. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to her. Okay, thank you very much for these. And these carvings will be coming your way. You guys, this channel is about wood carving, but it's also about giving back. Don't be afraid to give back, people, okay? 
I don't know. I'm not going to go off about it, but it will make you feel good. It will make them feel good. And well, she might have grandkids. She might be able to give one of these to each of her grandkids. She might have four flower pots to put them in. But but um, lady, I don't know your name, but make sure you give them names. These guys need names, right? So hope everybody's good. Now I got to start carving this. Um, I don't know what it is rose quartz or something spike setter. I don't. I I don't know what the name is, but it's like that salt rock that they have laps out of. So, anyways, you guys, there you go. And another thing, carve little sticks. Practice on them. Free wood is what's the best wood. Free wood is the best wood. Okay, later. I'm out. I'm out. Thanks. Thanks again, lady. One more thing. Don't forget to sign your pieces. Yep. Sign them.